All right, so we saw how we can create databases and destroy them. So what comes next? We're gonna see how we actually use them. And I mean that in a very literal sense. In MySQL, there is a use command. And what this does is it tells MySQL which database we want to be working with. So we have potentially 10 different databases on one MySQL server, and we want to search some data from one of them. Well, we need to tell MySQL which one we want to be using at any given time. And we can switch between them using the use command that you see right here. So I'll really quickly show you how it works over in Cloud9. So if we create a new database, and we'll just call this one dog walking app, and we hit enter. We do show databases. There it is. And if I want to use that, all I have to do is type use dog walking app. And you won't see much except for database changed. That's a good thing. But if we wanted to know for sure what database we are currently using, there's another MySQL command that we can use. And that command looks like this. Select database with parentheses after it. And what this will do is tell you the currently used database. So let's try that out back in cloud nine. If I type select database with those parentheses and a semicolon, it tells me database is dog walking app. And if I decided to delete that database, I would use the drop database dog walking app command. It tells me query okay. I do show databases and it should be gone. But if I do my select database command, pause and think to yourself for a moment, what database do you think I'll be using right now? We were using the dog walking app, but then we deleted it, so now what? And here's the answer. Kind of a trick question. We're not using a database right now, hence the null here. And we'll be talking a bit more about null throughout this course, uh, but that basically means we're not using any database. So just to show you one more time, if we switch, let's say I wanted to use one of these pre-existing ones like the C9 database. I'm not gonna delete that, but if I wanted to, I just use C9. And now if I do my select database, it tells me database is C9. Okay, so that's all there is to using a database and then also this select database command to see your current database. Next up, we'll start talking about tables and putting some data in these databases as soon as possible.